Yeah. Yeah. I remember. Hi. Hello, and a very warm welcome from BMW and also from Macavision. Over here, we have my amazing colleague, Harald Techler, who is the product owner from the IT side for the project called EVE. And Christopher, Christopher is our lead developer for the project EVE. And I'm Marcel, the product owner from the business side. And now we have heard EVE a couple of times, but we still don't know what it is, right? So how about we have a look where EVE is at home, a BMW dealership. Here you can see a normal BMW dealership is quite um, open and inviting. So we pop on in and we can see that our CI architecture features some futuristic and also innovative elements. Same goes for where we are actually selling the cars, the sales advisor's desk. And there you can see at every sales advisor's desk, we have a screen which is connected to a high-performance rendering machine. This machine has already been introduced by the BMW Group in the year of 2012. So what does that mean? We faced some challenges with it. We have the year 2019. So that uh, means that the visual quality that we had before the project called EVE was OK, but it had not been on the standard from today. At the same time, when we introduced the rendering machines, we only had one front end to work with these machines. And back in the day, we were hoping that our dealerships were buying as many, uh, and the only front end was an iPad, so we were, we were hoping that the dealerships were buying as many iPads as they have bought the rendering machines, but we're all friends, let's face it, the reality was they did not. So this meant that sometimes we had machines standing in our dealerships who actually cost money that were not being used. So we thought already in 2018 in 18, and we started working on the project this year that we need to change that. We need to work on, um, we, or we want to try to push the boundaries. We want to rise to the next level in terms of the um, visual quality. At the same time, we want to work on the speed and performance. So as an example, if a customer wants to see a 3 series, but then decides, well, I just go for the 7 series, this needs to happen in a couple of seconds. And we want to have front-end independency, meaning it just shouldn't matter if a customer or a sales advisor comes into our dealerships with an iPhone or an Android phone or an iPad or the sales advisor's laptop, everyone should always be able to connect to these rendering machines. And lucky for us, but at the same time, quite the challenge, we, we do have several thousand of these machines out in over 60 markets. So we started developing this new software in January of this year, and right from the beginning, we had our customers and also the people that are working with these machines in mind. So once again, we wanted to achieve mind-blowing visual quality. The connection needs to be as easy as possible. We don't want to have any waiting time switching from one model to the other. And very important, we want to add more sales use cases, not only focusing anymore on the new car sales, but also on the used cars and stock cars. And something very important that we also had in mind the whole time, we didn't want to have any additional investment for the dealers, meaning new software, but no new hardware. It's quite challenging, but we achieved that. That's why, please say hello to Eve. Eve is the emotional virtual experience. So, how does it look like? Well, why don't we ask her to render the new One Series? There, you can see the car, the car from uh, the interior view. Also, 
when we introduced、um, Eve, we came up with five different environments. The environments range from Hong Kong to Cape Town, or the delivery zone in the BMW Welt here in Munich. One thing that was very important for us is the interaction with our cars for the user. Meaning, we also introduced interactive elements, which you can see in a couple of seconds. Meaning, open the door, open the trunk, or whatever you want to do with the cars. And with that, I'll hand over to Harald. Okay, thank you, Marcel. So, I will give you some impressions、um, directly out of Eve.、Um, there's a nice shot of the 8 Series Grand Coupe. I'm not sure whether I like more the car or this beautiful rendering.、Um, the environment is the BMW world here in Munich, and you can just see the reflection here. It's the BMW headquarter, our four-cylinder. Well, I like it really. And just、um, a quick look to the front of the 8 Series Grand Coupe.、Um, it's the night surrounding, and we turn generally on the lighting of the vehicle、um, to visualize to our customers iconics like our headlights.、Um, I think it's nice, and I'm also a great fan of our interior visualization, especially、um, our outdoor、uh, visualization, the, the villa surrounding. Um, with impressive sunlight and nice shadow conditions. If you configure later on the booth,、uh, for example, a panorama sunroof,、um, you will see directly what will change it in the, in the, in the interior, and yeah, you can buy it directly here. Oh no, just kidding. This is still work in progress, but、uh, it's a good story point to tell an impression how we will give our customers more experience with their configuration. Yeah. Uh, we do not move the car by hand or rotate it. We, we, the goal is that the vehicle would be shown as in natural、uh, behavior. It drives, and we can show it at day and at night, and、um, it can be, be shown from customer viewpoint or from predefined artist、um, uh, setups upfront.、Um, the Eve content. That's、uh, just vehicles, no guns, no armors, no first aid kits like in games. Just、uh, 52 different vehicles we have inside the complete BMW, BMW i, and Mini lineup. And、um, inside of Eve, that's our、uh, 150 percent models. Models. That means all possible worldwide combinations are included in the data.、Um, the European variants. Sorry, and, and also UK with right-handed versions. I think they're still in the U- in Europe. U- yes,、um, US,、uh, Japan, China, and with miles and kilometers, special reflectors in some markets, and all possible options the customer can choose. Million of variants.、Um, the visualization of the vehicle is controlled by our front ends, which only send the configuration string with all needed information to the configuration. And this is the base idea of Eve.、Um, Eve is designed as a service,、um, an experience platform for the customer, controlled by customer front ends or dealer front end. At the end, it doesn't matter who controls Eve. And really, I don't know where the platform form is running in the future, under the desk of the sales guy or in the cloud. Everywhere. I don't know. Everything can happen.、Um, We integrate、uh, the sales tools with a unified AP,、uh, API because、uh, we're a little bit lazy. We don't want to test several front ends of every market. We just test our front ends、um, uh, in, in one version, and then it fits to all. It's bi- based on the Python server, so the benefit is that it's easy to implement, and the connection handling is also easy. The control pro layer is separated from the Unreal Engine. Oh, we can exchange it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not the goal. The next slide、um, needs a li- little bit of、uh, in- introduction.、Um, it shows our VR solution. We made this movie together with Epic during the Oktoberfest、uh, here in Munich by the dealer called Automac. The problem was on dealer side there was no staff to help us、uh, by, by the video,、um, for, by the shooting. So I called Marcel directly from the Oktoberfest.、Um, <laughs> He's、uh, our weapon in front of the camera here,、um, and he plays the salesperson.、Um, but he comes directly from the Oktoberfest. Yeah, we'll see it.、Uh, the customer is played by. Wasn't、Philip. that rug? <laughs> <laughs> He's somewhere in the audience.、Um, 
He was just there to, to install the hardware, um, but now he's the customer. Yes, here. Yeah. That's a classical <laughs> story um, <laughs> uh, that the customer is interested in a vehicle, but his dream configuration isn't there at the dealership. So you can <laughs> go with the customer to our BMW or, B or Mini Virtual Reality Cube, and the customer can sit in his dream car after he set up um, a goggle and make changes of different things. He just dives in to his um, virtual car and can look around. He can jump outside, he can make changes if he, he likes to, and he can open the trunk and play around with, uh, with his dream car. He's always assisted by the professional sales guy, and he can make his decision completely without uh, hardware. And now I hand over to Christopher from Macovision, who will show more details to the data pipeline, the VR approach, and a little insight of our worldwide deployment. Yes, thank you. <laughs> so as we just saw, the BMW and Mini fleet consists of a lot of models, and I'd like to talk about how we brought it all into the Unreal Engine. Uh, for every model series, we started off with a Delta Gen scene that was exported to a Maya scene, and from here on out, we automated everything. So we have a converter tool that reduces the complexity of the scene and then exports it as a few thousand FBX files and metadata. And then we used Unreal's Python feature to build an import process that imports all these files, applies some settings to the meshes like translucency sort and shadows and so on, that parses the metadata again and the delta gen files to create animations and finally recreates the whole scene as an Unreal map. And all that is working with just one click per model series. And that made our lives a lot easier because, as I said, we have 52 models, and one model series consists of about 34,000 Delta Gen nodes, and still 20,000 nodes after optimization, uh, 12,000 geometry files, 400 materials, 200 textures, and we have to import this at least three times a year per model. Mm. And uh, even importing a, sing a, uh, a single model would have been impossible to do by hand because you can't modify thousands of files manually. And uh, for VR mode, uh, you can see the same detail there because we could use all the models without optimizing them any further. So to start VR mode, you're just running the normal application and you pick up your head-mounted display and then you can start. And moreover, the VR UI uses the same endpoints as all the other front ends, so the user has the same possibilities available to him and we could use the uh, same Python backend and it all plays very neatly con uh, conveniently together. <laughs> Please turn that off. <laughs> 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 and finally, to roll out EVE and the whole model range and to monitor the systems and usage, our partner MonkeyWay developed a new backend service and update service. And thanks to the prior installed solution, uh, there was a really smooth takeover in the beginning. And now we can deploy application and content individually and often uh, Delta updates just require a few kilobytes or megabytes. But even so, we've already had 325 terabytes of data transfer volume globally. And in one night, we updated 4,000 systems using the service. Yeah. Last but not least, it enables us to manage all machines individually or in clusters and to test and deploy all packages in the right versions. Yeah, and with that, thank you very much for your attention and see you at the BMW booth over there. Thank you very much.